All right, guys, we've got a 2019 Alfa Romeo, the uh, Julia with 2.0, and it is here due to a misfire complaint. And so first thing I did naturally, just scan the whole vehicle and also tried to pull up trouble codes related to the misfire. And so the trouble codes that it pulled up was basically the generic uh, PO300 and not any one specific cylinder. And just to add to that, uh, as far as the Autel with the scan data, there is actually no scan data. So there's no misfire PIDs. And uh, this is a secure gateway. So you would need to go in the scanner with auto auth. So not much direction. Based off of that, I simply just broke out the scope and decided to start looking at ignition. These coils, luckily, are basically uh, act as two-wire coils, despite the fact that they are physically three-wire. But they are kind of like BMW uses three wires, but they are still dumb coils, quote-unquote, not smart coils, which means we can see the ignition primary waveform. So once I realized that, I just tapped into all my ignition control to be able to see my waveforms and I decided to go for a test drive. The way that it misfires is basically under load, idle, it seems to be fine. As soon as you start to get any type of load on it, accelerating, it'll just, it'll hit hard. It'll just buck on you, misfire, and then once you let off it, it'll get back to running normal. So knowing that we can get it to misfire that way, uh, Brought the scope, and I will show you the waveform we captured during the test drive. Okay, so here's the waveform of the test drive. I've got this uh, point. This is cylinder number two. And if you look at the waveform, uh, and this is at the point of where I put some load on it. So let's back out. If you look at pretty much all of them, similar type of waveform um, a lot of these let's call them uprises or spike during the point of the kind of burn time I guess and a lot of the cylinders again have that same look that's cylinder number four so that is the way that uh, it comes up, so this was regular idle, this is where I started loading it up. If we look at the no load waveforms, they a little bit, you know, uh, more normal. That one's a little funky, but not to the point where you could feel a stumble, at least at idle. So with no load... There's a little bit of a hiccup there. No loan. <laughs> Another hiccup. Uh, well, this is not necessarily idle, so let me point that out. This is when I started to roll off the um, from a stop sign before I really mashed on the pedal. So maybe I should be more clear with that. But um, you can tell some look a little bit normal. Others start to show some of their symptoms that we were seeing so being that they go from let's say not such a terrible ignition waveform all the way to the point where they have those big spikes right there look at that so then i started to try to think what can cause that now i'm not again i've expressed this before in other videos i'm not the best with ignition waveforms but, you know, to the point where I could probably guess enough. Now, I've seen this in the past where a waveform like this can be caused by turbulence. And I've had them where it was a basically leaking valve train, valves not sealing, loss of compression, caused turbulence, and you get a waveform similar to this. But this vehicle doesn't feel like there's a, a mechanical issue because at idle and just soft light load, there's no misfire until you demand for more energy. So then my head starts thinking about 
another possibility of this is now this vehicle is boosted it does have a turbo and so with higher demand now we're shooting a lot more pressurized air into the chamber into the cylinder and that air could be basically pushing and and causing flutter let's call it in the arc point and so it's having to fight that pressure comes up comes back and fights it again so on and so forth while it's trying to jump the arc of the spark plug and so i think this is probably being caused by a gap issue maybe wore out plugs because with less positive pressure boost pressure in the cylinder it arcs fine or semi-normal once we load up with high pressure we get these spikes and again i don't think they're from mechanical issue i believe we're almost blowing out the flame per spark plug and that's why we're seeing this as it's trying to jump the, the gap so i decided to pull one out just a random one i think it's cylinder number two and wanted to look at the gap and it definitely looks a little bit wide now seeing this and then the wore out in the type uh, i'm gonna go ahead get four spark plugs compare the gap between the new and this one and if it's definitely smaller then i think i'm gonna throw four of them in there go for a test drive and hopefully be correct all right, so I've got all four installed. Um, this is a GDI engine, all direct injection engines. You want to make sure you torque the spark plug. This one calls for 19 newton meters per service information. Now I did a quick kind of like a study video on this whole theory because you want to torque them to basically clock them inside the chamber in order to avoid any type of misfires, drivability issues, potential engine damage. All right, so um, I, before I clear the codes, I wanted to just show you the ones that were in there. Now, I have caused some of these uh, just from testing. So the ones that it had basically come in with was these two, um, the PO300 and then the uh, turbocharger under boost condition. Now. That can definitely be a concerning thing, especially trying to identify situations with the vehicle. But I'm going to address this one, the misfire, to see if this is just kind of a default or if it has a separate underboost problem. So for now, again, I want to get rid of the misfires and all these codes. And then um, we'll go for a test drive. And, then I and just to show you, this is all you get when you go into engine computer is recodes or erase codes. So that's what I was talking about with not much uh, information that you can look at if you're just using the scanner. So I'll go in there again just to show you engine computer again. That's all you get. So nothing usable.